Alright, um, today I'm going to discuss about this function question. I guess it's just SPM MF question since the student asked me this question in my Facebook page. So I decided to make one video for this because it's a bit unusual. Even though I don't say it is very difficult, but I guess it's not the common question you always see. Alright, so you have a uh, you have a function equation here. So this function equation tell you what? This function equation basically tell you the equation is modulus 2 minus 4x. Whenever you see the equation for modulus 1, you always have the v-shape. Alright, you always have the v-shape as long as the power of x is 1. Alright, if if the power of x is 2 or 4, you might have a w-shape. Right, but okay, right now we focus on the v-shape over here. Alright, this question actually asks you to state the domain of the uh of this fx the domain of the fx from the 0 to 6 here so he asked you to state the domain so first thing you have to understand is the information given here this one basically is the range okay so if you watch my previous video you know range basically is the range of the y exit isn't it so this one actually they are focused on the y exit so if not, you just see the fx. fx basically is the y axis, isn't it? So you want to know from y axis 0 to 6. So 0, from y axis 0, we know is x exit here to 6. So since here, this coordinate tell me is from uh, negative 1, 6. So I know the y value of this coordinate should be 6. So that means we have a 6 here. So that's, that's mean they ask you to they ask you the domain for this fx graph is from 0 to 6 so you are focusing over here because from here is what the domain's name here so it's between 0 to 6 so you can see i start from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 all right so what's uh, what is the domain meaning here is like okay from 0 to 6 for y here how far my x will go so this is what they want to know so basically if you can't see that maybe I can draw for you. So you basically is from here. It should be from here. Go all the way here. So that's mean if I crop it out, you can see from one to six my graph is basically from negative one. From negative one. I mean this line is actually from negative one until the point here. The intersection point here. Uh, I do not know why is this value. I'm going to call it x maybe. So this one will be my answer here. So this is what they want for the domain. So definitely right now, my objective is in order to get the domain, I want to know what is the intersection point here. So the only information I have is, I know the y value is six. I want to know uh, what is my x value. So what I will do is I will substitute the six into my equation here. I will have six equals to modulus two minus four x. Since you can see this one, if your y equals to 6, basically you are touching two coordinates over here. Do you see that? You are touching two coordinates. So that means when I solve this equation, I should also get the 2x value over here. So this is what's so beautiful about modulus because when modulus, we expand it, that means we want to cancel or move to the other side, we will get positive negative here. So we have positive negative 6 equals to 2 minus 4x. And because of positive negative, so therefore you have two equations here. Positive 6 equals to 2 minus 4x. And negative 6 equals to 2 minus 4x. Alright, so I, I try to solve this equation. So I should have 4x equals to negative 4. And x equals to negative 1. And this one, I should have 4x equals to 8. And x equals to 2. And you realize this one you already have. Which is this one. Because when y equals to 6, your x should equals to negative 1. So what we focus over here is this one, when x equals to 2. So therefore, we know this coordinate over here should be 2, 6. So the x value here should equals to 2. So what is the domain here? Domain, we always write x, the remaining domain, because this is x as it. So the domain should be from negative 1 to 2. Alright, and sometimes you must be very careful on the inequality sign. Okay, because from here, both inequality sign also have to equal. So I have to use back the same inequality sign with the equal. Alright, just in case, if let's say, let's say um 6 here, 
if let's say the six over here they doesn't use the equal then both also cannot use the equal because it doesn't actually touch this point all right so yeah i will go into that maybe in an other video so in this kind of questions few things you need to understand first thing you have to know what is the meaning of domain and range so basically domain is the range on the x axis over here and range will be the range of the y axis that's mean you want to know how far the, go the graph can go on the y all right domain means how far they can go on the x over here this is the first thing the second thing is okay if you understand already you need to know how to find the intersection point so therefore in this case you will need to learn how to solve the modulus equation so when you solve the modulus equation you will get two different answers you should understand you should understand the one of the answer you already have so therefore you cannot use the negative one again in the domain here because you only you will use one of it but then you cannot say both also negative one so you should know the other value is on the positive side should be positive two after you find out negative one and two you should know how to insert insert it and write it into the in the quality form all right i guess that's all for this video i hope at least this video can make you understand better about domain range and how to solve this kind of question i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching